Hey, welcome back to our channel. For this week's episode, we'll be kicking off our new label maker series with the PTM95 label maker. Um, this cute little guy right here is compact, easy to use, and it produces the um, M tape, which is a non laminated label. Um, so, this is great for indoor crafts or labeling, you know, like light switches or crafting projects, things like that inside your house, uh, filing cabinets anything that's not going to be exposed to the outdoors or get wet. So unlike the TZE tape that you could put in the garden or on Tupperware or outside, these are not laminated. So it's that same great label with that um, sticky backing there. However, it does not have that protective layer. So you'll want to use this for indoor use. With that being said, because there is no protective layer, they are a bit more cost effective and you'll notice um, when shopping for labels, they run a little bit um, cheaper, if you will. Before we get started, please thumbs up this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on what we do throughout this series with this label maker. For this week, I'm going to do an unboxing of this machine, so what it would look like when you get it in the mail, and then I'm going to show you how to insert the batteries for this machine and put the tape in the machine, um, the basics, uh, just even how to turn it on and get it set up, and then next week we'll start breaking down the user manual that comes with this. Um, this user manual, you'll notice they can get quite lengthy, so I'm going to break them down by section each week and post a video of it so hopefully it can save you some time and you don't have to go through that manual. You'll be able to revert quickly back to our videos and figure out exactly what you're trying to do. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is what your M95 label maker will look like when you get it in the mail. Um, you can see here, it's showing you some examples of what's on there. Um, you'll notice M95 on here, M tape is what you'll need, M tape again. Uh, so as you can see, again, you're going to need the M tape, the paper labels. Um, and you're also going to need four AAA batteries in order for this to work. So I've got our batteries here, I'm going to put these to the side, sorry for that loud audio, and then let's open it up. You'll notice here it says stop. Um, if you have any issues, you'd want to contact Brother. And this is also who you're going to want to sign up for your warranty with and register your machine using your serial number. Okay, so this is what's going to come in your M95, not the batteries. These I had on my own. But you're going to have your cute little machine here ready to go. The user manual and then a sample tape to get going. Now this MKS231S is the exact same thing as an M231 tape. Half an inch black on white paper tape. But what you need is the M part, M231. The S just stands for a sample tape and sometimes they throw that K in there. Um, if you're on our website, ptouchdirect.com, you can click on this little M231 tape, and if you go down, you can see all of the different names it's ever had. But again, the same as an M231 right there. So that S just means sample. Okay, so first things first is you wanna turn it over, pull on the little arrows, and we're gonna add in our uh, batteries. Now you can kinda see here, You've got a plus and a minus. It kind of lays out how you're gonna want to put these in. So we'll go plus minus. And then let's see, I think it was the opposite way. And then down here, it said plus minus again. And there. So you've got your four tape uh, batteries in, and then we want to add our legal tape. You'll notice you've got this like little piece here, and it instinctually you want to like pick it off. Don't do that. Leave it there. It says do not touch. Leave it. So we've got our tape. And we're going to go in. Click that down. You heard that click. Here's your serial number, by the way, for if you need that to set up a warranty or register your machine. And then the best way or the quickest way I've noticed is to start with your little hooks in down like this. Then click. You don't want to force anything. And it's going to show you some designs. I like this model because it gives you a shortcut on the back versus like some of the um, other label makers that we've done before. You know, there's different ways to go through the saved files or the saved settings on the machine, but you'd have to remember the different keys they're assigned to when this gives you the shortcut right on the back, which is awesome. So, 
We're gonna power our little guy on here and you can see it's ready to roll. So again, you've got this and then stay tuned for next week and we're gonna get started and I'm gonna break down how to do this step by step. We'll start printing and doing all kinds of different things. Maybe we'll um, break into the symbols. That's always a fun one. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out as we continue on with this PTM95 label maker. Each week, I will be continuing on to break down this, their user manual um, to help you with quick tips on how to use this, um, get started quickly. So you'll want to subscribe so you don't miss out on each week when I post some new information. Um, please thumbs up this video if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.